Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions to your number one channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's video, we are going to show you how to generate contours from your Google Earth data. You know, um, on our previous video or on a previous video, we've shown you how to do the same thing when you move your what your path to maybe gps visualizer generate your elevation from it and then move it back to maybe um so far and then get your contours right good however on today's video we are going to show you how to bring in this kml file this is actually a kml file or let's say a kmz file which was gotten from google it and then we are going to generate contours for it right here on what on a um, global mapper so we have it here the next thing is for us to connect to online data which will now connect us to any of the what the elevation data um, repositories so we can use either astagidem or srtm or any other one maybe scroll down to see if you can find another one right good so now let's use this um, srtm worldwide elevation data let's connect good so we have what the elevation data that is what cropped or let's say clipped towards our area of interest now the next thing is for us to okay this with your color ramp you can see the range of elevations that surround what your terrain you know you can actually play with the eel shader to put it on or put it off and then you can also see different options that can help you with what your your shaders right good that's um, how the color ramps appear or something so um we come down to either analysis and then we select them um, contours from generate contours from terrain data or we rightly use what general or create contours right good so um we have the layer to be generated contours the interval is 10 meters let's modify this um, arc degrees to one and then one right good so now there are other options you can just check and then see if you are okay with them you would leave them as default or you modify them right so we click on okay good our contours are being generated and then you can see the labels on each of the contour lines right good so now this is a very simple way with which you can actually generate contours of what your area of interest using what using a um, global mapper now this is not the end you can actually move these contours out of a um, global mapper as like maybe um, perhaps exporting it as any other word vector data format so we just come to files we go to export or we rightly come to this layer right click and then we come to layer then we say what export layers to new file now the layers we want to export is actually what the generated contours because that was the name by default given to the contours then let's say we are looking at um, an autocad format so let's look at either dwg or dxf depending on what you want to use we click on OK. However, there is a warning that um, the the coordinates of, or let's say the projection rather, the projection of the generated contours are non-linear, which means it is best what we reproject it towards a linear unit because these um, um, the projection of these lines are actually what WGS84, which is what geographic. So we come down to tools, we go to configure, then under projection, we come down to the projection selector, we select what UTM, and then the the area of interest is actually on UTM zone 32, northern hemisphere. We just um, apply that little shift. Okay, good. So you can now see that what the projection we have right now is what it terms on 33 wgs 84 and then the coordinates are also different right so now with this you can easily export without that um, error message or without that warning let's not call it error message 
without that warning we got earlier right good so now all data are exported using the currently selected display projection which is what the um, projected crs so these are some dwg export options let's see tiling export bound and you can choose to leave these other options as they are by default or you make a few modifications let's give this a name let's see ss card right good so let's call this um, ss card then we save good so it has been exported we are now going to assess it and then open it up here we are good so we have what the contours here and then we can also check what the layers to see the different layers with which it has been what that has been created right good so any of the lines that perhaps you select as its own layer and then if you also select maybe the the contour label it also has its own what its own layers right good so yeah thanks for coming to class and um, we open we've been able to provide solution to this particular solving problem on how to move from what google it to global mapper and generating contours thereof so we are going to see you on the subsequent one ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye